there. For you new folks, I'm Jenny Fitness. You know, I've always thought there's more to fitness than just running laps. Financial fitness is important too. Seems like I talk to more and more people that think that they have to have a huge savings account or a big income to be financially fit. Well, they've got it all flipped. fitness starts at home by taking little steps to build her tradition. One of the traditions I really like is one that's called pay yourself first. You know I was in Texas Trust the other day and I met Kira, a teller. She said her parents gave her some really valuable lessons that she was able to put into action. It was really cool getting to talk to Janie about some of my family's traditions they had about saving money. My parents have been teaching me about saving since I could count. When I was younger, it didn't seem too important, but once I got older, and especially after I started working as a teller, I could really start to see the importance in all the small things they did. They would always pay me to do certain chores, and then give me the option of doing more work for more money. It put the idea in my head that if I wanted money, I would have to work for it, and if I had to work that hard for it, I really didn't want to spend it all that fast. They kept it up until I turned 18. And by then, I had enough for a down payment on a car. It was great getting to watch my savings grow. And they would always take me to the credit union to make my own deposits. That's what kept me saving my money, because it was like they turned it into a game. I think it's great that Janie is helping out and teaching some of the same traditions my parents taught me, because it really pays off in the end. some valuable lessons without making it seem like it was a lecture and even though they started with her when she was really young it's never too early to start learning about building good habits and financial traditions you can even start today stop by moneyfittips.com and let's get rolling <laughs>